Hello, this is Manesh Patel from IchimukuTrade.com. Today is October 9, 2012. This is our Ichimoku analysis for the currency forex market. Being a little delayed in uh, getting these videos out. It's been a busy month for us, so uh, we really haven't had a chance to do them on a weekly basis. Uh, but we're going to try to start back and doing them. Anyways, uh, this is our normal disclaimer. This is tape. This is for education use only. If you decide to take any trades, you're doing that at your own risk. Here's my contact information here at info at eiicapital.com. Uh, you could also go to ichimukutrade.com to access any of our free videos, education videos, learn more about Ichimoku, and so forth. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the heat map, uh, which is right here. And I'm just going to flip this to all rating all. And what we're going to do is we're mainly going to look at the daily and weekly time frame. Um, the reason why is uh, we're trying to go long term in this uh, webinar. Uh, that's about right there. And what we're looking for is basically first the daily and weekly to be the same color. And then second the daily to basically be a 2 or 4. And the weekly to be a 2, 4, or 5. That basically gives us a 2, two time frame buy or sell scenario. Uh, if you got a 5, it basically means that the trend is already moving. Um, and there's no opportunity there to enter. It's already gone. Uh, if you look at here, Australian CAD, short side, uh, this is basically being bearish. Nothing going on here. There's a fresh opportunity here on the CAD yen, but not really of a 4. Uh, Euro CAD, there's an opportunity there. Euro Switzy, there's an opportunity there. There's nothing here. Nothing there. And just going down. Uh, there's not an opportunity here because that's a 3 here. All these are multiple different colors. Uh, there's an opportunity in there in Singapore yen, and that's about it. So, really, the only real opportunity that we see here is probably the Euro CAD, uh, which is probably the best one out there right now. So, we'll definitely get to that in just a moment. So, let's go now to um, our charts and just start flipping through all the different currency pairs. Uh, let's go through over here and just start looking for these. Let's go for Australian CAD. If you look here on Australian CAD basically here, this remember the daily is basically on the left hand side, the weekly is basically on the right hand side. And if you look at Australian CAD we basically hit the bottom of the range which is right here at 99.44 and if you look at the top of the range based on the weekly is 1.6046. Uh, so there's nothing really going on except we're just ranging right now. Uh, it's really got to sit there and break the support in order to start a bearish trend. But if you look here on the daily time frame, kind of bounced off that major support right now. Uh, next ne next minor resistance level it's going to basically run into is going to be 1.0089. And support, of course, is going to be 99.44. Australian Switzy. Uh, nothing really going on here. As you can see, got to the top of the cloud on the weekly, bounced off there. So nothing really going on there. If you look here, the start of the bearish trend is still in the bearish trend right now on the daily. Uh, next resistance, the major one's going to be 9671. Uh, support's going to be basically 9500. Australian yen. Uh, really nothing going on as far as daily and weekly is concerned. You can just see it's chop chop right now. It's at a major support right now, which is basically 29.80, sorry, 79.85. Next resistance level is going to be 81.24 moving forward. Australian USD, nothing really going on here at all. Uh, it's getting ready to hit a major support at 1.0103, and resistance basically is going to be at 387 moving forward uh, really not doing anything here if anything this thing may sit there and bounce off uh, because it's ranging right now between the, the values here and about right there <coughs> cat switzy really nothing going on here still bullish trending here holding its trend intact uh, but slow moving completely so you look at the daily time frame really nothing going on since it's in the cloud CAD yen, oh, this was an opportunity, fresh opportunity here, uh, trying to go bullish here on both the daily and weekly. Really nothing going on here. Uh, still hasn't come out of the cloud at all, but this is basically, excuse me, <coughs> this is basically ranging, so there's nothing there at all. Switching yen, 
Uh, nothing going on here. It's had a major support getting very close to it, um, which is going to be around 82.72. Uh, resistance on this is going to be 83.68 moving forward. Euro Australian, really not. It's starting a bullish trend here, uh, but really this is not that great of a movement here. But the bullish trend is still intact. Support basically is going to be 1.2528. Resistance basically is going to be right around. 1.2873. You're a CAD. Um, really nothing on here. I think this is the one that we thought there was going to be anything there. Uh, four and two. So this looks like it's trying to go out here. It had a chance here. Didn't quite sit there and take off at all. And here it's nothing going on here. Major support it's going to basically run into is 24.67. It's got to hold there in order to sit there and try to reverse. If it doesn't, then it's going to basically break down and retest the lows. Uh, so that's basically major support is going to be 24.67. Major resistance is going to be 26.96 moving forward. Euro Switzy, uh, really nothing going on, on here. Pretty much holding on to the support at basically 2096. And resistance is going to be basically this range up here. Which is basically 21.77. Euro pound, really nothing going on here too. Could form a double bottom top here, but really you can't tell until it breaks the support at basically 8.001. Uh, so that's going to be basically the support. Resistance basically going to be 8100. Euro yen, really nothing going on too. You notice all the euro pants are trends trends are pretty much almost at a double top type of scenario and they're getting to a major support right now major support on this is going to be 99.90 and major resistance on this one is going to be 103 euro usd really nothing going on here uh, double top possibly it's getting close to a major support at 28.36 it's going to be its major support there Resistance is going to be basically 31.68 moving forward. Pound Australian um, bullish trending here on the daily time frame. Uh, it's getting close to a major support at 55.81, uh, but still has a bullish trend intact as long as it stays above there. Uh, resistance is basically running into 1.5940, and if you look here on the weekly, there's nothing really going on here. Uh, it looks like it's trying to pull back at least right now. Euro CAD, really nothing going on. Look at this big bar movement here. Had a chance to go bullish, really didn't do with that at all. It's basically ranging right now, so there's no real opportunities there at all. Euro Swiss, sorry, pound Switzy, nothing really going on here. This could sit there and start a trend here to the downside if it could sit there and break the support here at 49.44. Uh, resistance on this one is going to be 51.90, 51. 59, but I'll definitely keep an eye on this one for maybe a bearish opportunity moving forward. Pound yen here, you can see here, uh, really nothing going on right now. It's at a major support at 125.19. Uh, resistance on this is going to be 126.38 moving forward. Pound USD, nothing really going on. Pound USD finally sit there and maybe possibly could sit there and form a double top here. Uh, triple top, whatever you want to call it. It's at a major support right now, 59.59. Sorry, 59.99. Uh, major resistance on this is going to be 61.24 moving forward. New Zealand CAD, really nothing going on. It's just going sideways right now. So there's nothing really going on in this pair. New Zealand Switzy, nothing going on here. This could sit there and start a bearish trend in the next couple of days. Uh, but it's got to sit there and hold this resistance level at 7700. Uh, support on this one that's got to sit there and break is going to be 7550. New Zealand yen, nothing really going on. It's at a major support right now, 6382. Major resistance going to be 6550 moving forward on that one. New Zealand USD. Nothing. It's pretty much like the New Zealand USD. Major support is going to be 81.35. Major resistance can be 8400. Notice there's not many new trends right now, and that's kind of the theme right now. Though what's going on, things are kind of in limbo right now. Uh, nothing going on as far as US CAD is concerned. Uh, kind of reached a major bottom here. 
Uh, but nothing really going on as far as that's concerned right now. U.S. Switzy, nothing really here at all. Set a major resistance right now, 94.13. Um, major support's going to be 92.50. USN, nothing really going on at all. So pretty much there's nothing going on as far as currencies are concerned uh, right now. Time to be patient uh, and wait for the opportunities to come. Uh, no real major trends have happened at all. And believe it or not, no major trends have really happened in the last couple of months. Uh, you've gotten a couple of pips here, a couple of hundred, two to three hundred pip runs, but nothing has gone for five hundred pip to a thousand pip run at all as you pretty much saw at the beginning first uh, beginning half of this year uh, the key is just be patient and wait for the opportunities and they should slowly start to come uh, but remember don't give up thank you and